Have you ever been amazed by someone's ability to effortlessly simplify a complex topic? They make it appear so straightforward, leaving you in awe. But when it's your turn to explain, the words seem to escape you. Sir Isaac Newton once said, truth is ever to be found in simplicity and not in the multiplicity and confusion of things. So how can you achieve that clarity, that profound understanding and the ability to convey complex ideas effortlessly? That's where the Feynman technique comes into play. Your key to mastering any subject, whether it's in nursing school or any other field, in this video, I'll guide you through the Feynman technique, step by step, empowering you to supercharge your learning journey. Let's embark on the path of simplifying complexity with the Feynman technique. Let's begin by laying the groundwork. What precisely is the Feynman technique? Named in honor of the illustrious physicist Richard Feynman, this technique is a tribute to a man whose contributions to quantum mechanics earned him a Nobel Prize in 1965. Yet, among his myriad achievements, what truly sets Feynman apart is his systematic approach to rendering complex ideas comprehensible to his students, encapsulated perfectly in his own words. The first principle is that you must not fool yourself, and you're the easiest person to fool. Now let's explore how this technique operates. It's remarkably straightforward, comprising four fundamental steps. Step one, begin by selecting a topic that piques your interest or warrants a deeper understanding. Your choice can span a wide spectrum, encompassing subjects such as scientific theories, historical events, or intricate skills. In our scenario, let's home in on our nursing topics that aligns with our current studies. When integrating the Feynman technique into your learning journey, it's important to avoid selecting overly broad subjects such as simply nursing, as it can hinder the effectiveness of step two. So keep your focus sharp and let's explore step two. Step two, clarify the subject as if you were explaining it to a young child, someone completely unfamiliar with the topic. Picture yourself simplifying complex concepts into plain and straightforward language. This practice is comparable to the way you'll communicate with many patients in healthcare settings who may have little to no knowledge of medical jargon. For instance, think about your interactions during a thorough patient assessment. If you were to say something like, I'm checking your pedal pulses to assess peripheral perfusion, it might as well be a foreign language to your patient. This step's significance lies in its ability to break down intricate ideas into easily comprehensible pieces. Additionally, it acts as a litmus test for your own grasp on the subject matter, which prepares us for step three. Step three, detect any knowledge gaps, instances where you employ technical language or terminology that you didn't fully understand. This includes identifying areas where you might have said, hmm, or uh, frequently, or where you struggle to convey information concisely. Ask yourself, were there moments when I found it challenging to delve beyond surface level knowledge? Once you've engaged in a thoughtful analysis of your explanation and pinpointed these gaps in your understanding, it's time to revisit the subject matter and dive deeper into those specific topics. This process will enhance your grasp of the topic and ensure a stronger knowledge foundation. Step four, now it's time to refine your explanation, solidifying your understanding even further. After revisiting and addressing the knowledge gaps you've identified, you're prepared to make your explanation even more straightforward, concise, and coherent. Let's revisit the pedal pulse example I mentioned earlier in the video, but this time with added context. Working in a surgical ICU, I often care for patients post-operative phase after they've had an abdominal aorta aneurysm repair. I frequently check their pedal pulses to ensure proper blood flow to their extremities. Instead of using complex terminology, I go for a simpler approach when explaining to the patient. I explain like this. During your surgery, a significant artery in your abdomen had to be temporarily clamped off. To ensure everything is functioning well post-surgery, I'll regularly assess the pulses in your feet. That large artery is called your aorta. So if I can feel pulses in both feet, it indicates there are no apparent complications from the surgery. And because you're engaged in this conversation, it tells me blood is flowing correctly from your head to toe. This concise explanation not only eases a patient's anxiety, but also showcases my expertise as a nurse. Behind this simplicity lies a profound understanding of anatomy, physiology, and nursing skills. As you care for your patients, you'll undoubtedly encounter numerous questions from patients, family members, and friends. By consistently applying the Feynman technique throughout your studies, be well prepared to provide clear, easily digestible answers to anyone who asks while you're providing that care. This will elevate your nursing practice substantially. Remember, effective communication plays a pivotal role in how you're perceived as a nurse. 
Using this technique, you won't find yourself struggling with awkward pauses or stumbling over words. You'll convey confidence and competence. And here's a piece of unsolicited life advice, if I may. If you don't know something, don't pretend otherwise. There are polite and professional ways to admit uncertainty. For example, you can say, I'm not entirely certain about that, but I'll consult with a charge nurse or physician to provide you with accurate information. That way we both know moving forward. In summary, by simplifying and articulating information in this manner, you'll not only improve your understanding, but also excel in delivering patient-centered care through eloquent communication. Benefits of the Feynman Technique. Now that we've explored the four fundamental steps of the Feynman Technique, let us delve into the numerous advantages it offers. Deep understanding. One of the primary merits of the Feynman Technique is its capacity to foster profound comprehension. It is a common experience to believe we have a comprehensive grasp of a subject until we go and try and explain it. This technique compels us to dive deeper into the subject matter, thereby enhancing our understanding and communication skills. Two, identifying knowledge gaps. As we embark on the second step of the Feynman technique, we inevitably find areas in which our knowledge is incomplete. This revelation often occurs in a flash as we pause to collect our thoughts and realize the gaps that exist in our understanding. Memory enhancement. The process of reorganizing and explaining information through the technique aids in more effective encoding of knowledge into our long-term memory. Furthermore, when we undertake the task of teaching or explaining information in this manner, it bolsters our memory retention and clarifies our thoughts. Refined teaching skills. Even if one has never aspired to be a teacher, the Feynman Technique introduces this concept of pseudo-teaching during the study process. This approach sharpens our ability to express complex ideas in a clear and concise manner. Consequently, it not only elevates academic performance, but also enhances real-life communication skills. This newfound clarity of thought and expression has the potential to open doors in several different opportunities. For example, I never thought I would enjoy teaching, but here we are. Boosted confidence. Through the practice of teaching and expressing knowledge, the Feynman Technique nurtures self-confidence. This newfound self-assuredness extends beyond knowledge and permeates into one's entire self-esteem. It facilitates effective communication, whether in front of a camera, a live audience, or in everyday conversations, thereby unlocking new horizons of personal and professional growth. The remarkable facet of the Feynman Technique is in its practicality making it a valuable tool for daily life. It is not confined to academic pursuits alone. Personally, I integrate the Feynman technique into various aspects of my life, particularly when encountering information in podcasts or audiobooks. This practice entails jotting down notes and immediately adopting the role of a teacher or debater to reinforce my understanding and clarify my thoughts. The outcome is a significant increase in knowledge retention and personal growth, which has taken me further than Personally, I thought I'd ever go. In essence, the Feynman technique is not an intricate process. It thrives on simplicity and conciseness. In an upcoming video, I will demonstrate how I apply the Feynman technique in practice to tie these concepts together efficiently. And there you have it, the Feynman technique. Your pathway to mastering the art of simplicity and deep understanding. As we've explored today, by selecting a focused topic, simplifying it, identifying knowledge gaps, and refining your explanation, you'll unlock a world of benefits from deep comprehension to memory enhancement, refined teaching skills, and newfound confidence that Feynman Technique is your compass to navigate the complexities of any subject. So whether you're a student, a healthcare professional, or anyone seeking to elevate their knowledge and communication, embrace the Feynman Technique. It's a practical tool that transcends academia, guiding you to new heights in life.